Hello children, in our earlier sessions, we learned about parts of a flower, pollination, root formation, structure of a seed and germination. Dear students, I am sure you all must have done the homework which I gave you in the last session. So, I am discussing the answer and the sheet is also there for your reference. The A was give two examples for each of the following. First one, fruits with one seed. Answer, mango and plum. Second one, fruits with a few seeds. Example, apple and orange. Third one, parts of a seed. Answer, seed coat and seed leaves. Fourth, ways of pollination. Answer, wind and water. Fifth, parts of a flower. Answer, petal and sepal. Now, second was match the following. So, column A and column B. First is ovary which is match to female part of a flower, pollen grains which is male part of the flower, style and stigma, carry pollens to the ovary, butterfly, insect pollination and the last one baby plant which is present inside a seed. Today we will learn about dispersal of seeds. Dispersal of seeds. Have you ever wondered what would happen if all seeds of a plant fall near the parent plant? There will be less space and nutrients available for these seeds to grow. So, they have to compete for light, water and nutrients from the soil. Hence, not all seeds will be able to grow into plants. So, dispersal of seeds is very important for the survival of plant species. The process by which seeds are scattered away from the mother plant is called dispersal. There are many ways by which seeds get dispersed. Seeds get dispersed uh, in many ways, one by wind, second by water, third by birds and animals, fourth by explosion and fifth by humans. Now, when uh, first one, when the seeds get dispersed by wind, uh, usually the seeds that are dispersed by wind are generally light and small such that they can be easily carried away by the wind. Example, cotton seeds. Second, by water, these seeds have a structure generally hollow such that they can easily float on water. Once they reach a place where they get the conditions suitable, they germinate. Example, like coconut, lotus, etc. Then third is by birds and animals. These seeds, they have external structures such as spines or hooks such that they can attach themselves to animal and get dispersed to other places. Sometimes animals eat fruits and seeds pass through the animal digestive system and are excreted to far off places. Example like blackberry, cherry, apple. Then next is by explosion. Now uh, some plants fling or throw their seeds out once the fruit has ripened. This explosion occurs as a result of evaporation of water from the pods. Once the pods dry out, they expel the seed which are then carried by the wind or gravity to other places where they germinate. The next is last fifth one is by humans. Humans eat various fruits and vegetables and throw their seeds after eating. Sometimes seeds stick into the sock, shoes or other clothings. 
Sometimes they are carried through vehicles, farm machineries or while transporting the soil etc. Did you know giant sequoia tree are one of the tallest trees in the world which grow from seeds. Its seeds remain buried in the soil for 20 years. During fire, forest fires, the outer layer of the seeds opens and the seed grows in bare soil. Students, let us discuss the exercise. A is fill in the blanks with the correct words. Now, as you can see, two options have been given and we will fill in the blank with the right answer. Now, first one is the dash is the reproductive part of a plant. The options are flower or fruit. Yes, the right answer is flower. Second is the dash is the female part of a flower. Options are anther or stigma. Hmm, the right answer is stigma. Third one, the dash is the male part of a flower. Anther or stigma? Yes, the right answer is anther. Now, fourth is when pollen grains reach the ovary of the flower dash. Now, the options are seeds are dispersed or fruit is formed. Yes, the right answer is fruit is formed. Fifth one, the process by which a new plant grows from a seed is called dash. The option is dispersal or germination. Yes, the right answer is germination. Okay, with this we finish our fill in the blanks. B is pick the correct option. First is which of these does not carry pollen grains to a flower? Options are A. Air B. Water C. Animals and D. Sunlight And the right answer is Yes. D. Sunlight Second, which of these parts of a flower becomes a fruit? Pollen grains, B. Ovary, C. Stigma, D. Petals. And the right answer is B. Ovary. Third one, which of these helps the coconut plant? to disperse its seeds. Option A, wind, B, water, C, sheep and D, birds. And the right answer is yes, B, water. Fourth question, which of the following parts of a seed stores food for the baby plant? Option A, seed coat, B, seed leaves, C, embryo and D, leaf. And what is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is seed leaves. Then fifth question, which of the following parts does not belong to a flower? Option A, seed leaves. B. Petal C. Anther and D. Stigma And what is the right answer? Yes, you got it right. It is A. Seed leaves With this, we come to the end of correct option. Dear students, I am sure everything is clear to you. I know 
we are learning so many new things but with these videos i'm sure you will understand everything so keep watching these videos eat healthy stay safe bye